Hello everyone, and bright suns as they say here on Batu. we're back. Yeah, last week we were here in Galaxy Fest, we did a video on things we would like to see from the Mandalorian in this world. And people like that, we're back again for a second part of this video. You can watch that video, you can click above and below, but come with us on this adventure. No. Uh-oh. Nothing to see here. of the Mandalorian. We love it so much, we wish it was incorporated in Galaxy's Edge. We made a list of things that we'd like to see in Galaxy's Edge from the Mandalorian. So in Dhaka Andars, you can buy replicas of old things from across the galaxy. One of them is this Imperial Credit, which is a replica of the old currency used in the Imperial times. Uh, one thing I'd love to see them sell a replica is of Beskar steel. This was gathered in the Great Purge. It is good it is back with the tribe. Yes. This is a Beskar steel ingot. One of the things that was used to create the Mandalorian's helmet and armor in the show. This one is just fan made. It's made out of resin and painted. But I'd love to see them produce a real one that is like heavy, like steel and metal. I'd buy one for a paperweight to have on my desk. In Docking Bank 7, you can find lots of unique space-themed food. But one thing that they're missing here is a lack of desserts. And we were thinking, why not have the suka from the Mandalorian here? Suka, suka, you know, the suka, the giant egg that the Mandalorian has to retrieve from the mudhorn that all the Jawas go crazy for just shoving it in their face. How cool would it be if you could get yourself a little egg, kind of like a Cadbury egg is what I'm envisioning, and they would present it to you and just yell suka suka as you shoved it in your face. That'd be such an easy thing to add here to the menu because they have food from all over the galaxy here. They should have that egg. Suka suka. <laughs> I, I kind of want to imagine that like when you order it's kind of like at Trader Sam's when you order a, a special drink yeah. and like something you plays, they, you should hear the Jawas all around yelling suka as someone orders the suka. There was this image floating around on the internet of the changing stations here in Galaxy's Edge for the babies that looked, the baby looked an awful lot <laughs> like the child. And then we found out that it was not real and it was just photoshopped. But like, why not? That wouldn't be that hard to do. And I totally think they should do that. Of course, they have the iconic blue and green milk that you can get here in Batu. It, it, it's pretty good, but it's not it's, amazing. Yeah, I feel like it, it needs to be worked on a little bit more to get perfected. But when we were watching The Mandalorian, there's an episode that when they're on Sorgan, the one with the ATST, there's this glowing blue liquid that they're drinking. Is it possible to engineer a drink that like glows in the dark? Probably not. Probably not healthy yeah, for that you. Yeah, doesn't sound safe. <laughs> but, but I would totally drink it. I want more alien, like, things. Yeah, I say just plop an alien glow cube in there and we're good. We don't need more glow cubes. A glowing stick in the middle that, like, makes it Illuminates look like a the yeah, drink. The blue drink from Sorghum. We want it. I have spoken. We have both spoken. Another trooper. We'll have a vacancy soon. Here. You. Affirmative. Indeed. I'm sorry, sir. The Wookiee who flies the Millennium Falcon. Is he here? Oh no. Here we go. Have you seen the Wookiee? Yes. Care to explain how you missed that trooper? This Wookiee is clever. That Wookiee, sir. 
is a threat. Settle down now. Soldiers. We apologize, sir. Apologies, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Thanks a lot. That girl told them that Chewie was here. What the heck? Speaking of character experiences here on Batu, it would be great to have experiences with some of the characters from The Mandalorian. Unfortunately, we don't know if The Mandalorian is even still around. As we saw, his helmet and rifle are in Doc Ondar. He could be dead at this point. Uh, so, But you know what? That doesn't stop us. We could have some characters. Yeah, like there should be Jawas walking around. The draw, all you need to do is change their coat from like that brown look to the gray like they're wearing in The Mandalorian. Yeah. I've seen those characters before in Disneyland. It'd be so easy for them to bring them here. Yeah, until now, until The Mandalorian, the Jawas only existed on Tatooine. But now yeah. that they've established off-world Jawas with episode two of Mandalorian, bring some Jawas to Batu. I've love to see them running around uh, Black Spire Outpost, like trying to steal the items that you've just like purchased <laughs> and so like that. Yeah, bartering. Yeah. yeah, so much fun. In chapter two of The Mandalorian, the Jawas get their giant egg, the Suka, and it turns out that that egg is actually pretty infamous all around the galaxy. There's actually a song inside of Oga's Cantina that DJ Rex plays on his playlist called Utini by the Dusty Jawas. And that's actually a song all about the egg, the suka, and you could hear them chanting suka in the background. It's been here all along. And that's actually one of my favorite songs on that playlist. If you've never heard it, you could download it on Spotify, Apple Music, whatever. It's a good one. In the Droid Depot, you can find a ton of different kind of droids, from pit droids to K2SO here in this cage. But one that they don't have is IG-11 or IG-88 or any of the IGs. I'm thinking maybe because those are like bounty hunter assassin droids. Maybe that's why. But how cool would it be if you could get an IG-11, either make him yourself or just a little replica. We love IG-11. Spoiler alert, when he died, I was actually really sad. He was really growing on me and I love that he was the nanny. And I would love to have him displayed in my home. So they should really sell him here. Nurse and protect, IG-11. And what you need to have is you need to have like a button so it like spins around in that way that the IGs spin around. Oh my god. Up top. Like that's the toy I want, IG-11. How good was that whole training montage when he was like being taught to be a nanny? That was like the best two minutes of the whole series in my opinion. We IG-11. Disney, we need IG-11. Droid Depot. Pour one out for IG-11. Rest in peace. We will never forget you. From stuff here? Yeah. Oh, he, wow. <laughs> the joke I made earlier is wow. he chopped the head off in R5 to oh. make chopper. And you got, uh, this is from the new video game, right? Yeah. yeah. What's his name? BD-1. BD-1? Oh my god. That is crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, they replaced the little wheel did the arms and everything. We were just talking, we wish you could get IG-11 here and Chopper, what the heck? And that was like 3D printed? Mm -hmm. Wow, that is so cool. No, now I really need to play this video game. We're here in Doc Ondar's, and he has a lot of antiquities here. On the second level, he does have an IG unit. It is not IG-88, the famous assassin droid. And sadly, it is not IG-11 from The Mandalorian, as we saw. You know, he did not survive, but it is actually Doc Ondar's personal security droid, BK-86. So that's the history on that. You can actually find more about that in like, if you do the data pad on, on your phone, there's some information about that droid. You can find it in there. One of the things that the pilot episode of The Mandalorian did is it restored something from Legends back to canon. This is something from Star Wars The Holiday Special, and it's Life Day. This is the, the day every year. It's kind of, kind of like the Christmas of the Star Wars universe. Yeah, I was hoping to be free for uh, Life Day. I'd love to see some kind of festive, like, holiday here in Batu. Why not make it Life Day? Like, you already have something in canon to base this on. It's now canon. Let's, Disney, give us Life Day in Batu. It's actually funny, some fans actually celebrated Life Day this past year. Uh, maybe we can find some footage and put that on screen right here.
fans are already here celebrating at Disney Make It So, Make It Canon inside the park. Another thing in Galaxy's Edge that's kind of based on the Mad Glorian is this Loath Cats. He could be found here in the Creature's Stall. They actually based this design that you see on the show from this cat asleep in this cage. Of course, this cat is originally from Star Wars Rebels, but I don't know about you, I screamed when that episode came on and you saw this guy in person. I never thought I'd see the day where we saw a real life Loath Cat. And what I love about this guy here sleeping in the cage is he's so quiet and tame. In the show, he's in Baby Yoda's face wanting to attack. So it's cute to see him when he's all peaceful. One of the things I love about the Mandalorian is the whole concept of the Bounty Hunters Guild. They give these pucks, they assign these pucks for these missions. I know when Galaxy Sets was first announced, they said that it was going to be your story in the Star Wars universe. And it was going to be a lot more interactive than it ended up being. It's all on the data pad, all on, on your phone, on the app. I would love it if there was a place where you could actually go join the guild, get a puck, and like send you on a mission around but two. Like, how cool would that be? Maybe in, incorporate the, the bounty hunter's uh, den. I know that might be a little far-fetched. How about just sell bounty pucks that you could get like a 3D scan of yourself that's like the hologram? I think that would be a cool souvenir in and of itself. Here in Doc Ondars, they have a ton of replica jewelry from the movies, and as Carrie Fisher liked to call it, space jewelry. But one thing that they don't have that we'd really like to see is the Mythosaur pendant, which you could find the child sucking on on that final episode of The Mandalorian. If you're wondering what the Mythosaur is, it is the creature that like you see on Boba Fett's armor, and you see it in the show The Mandalorian, whenever they're in their underground lair, it's the big skull that they have in the entryway. I wanna wear that as a necklace. Come on. Uh-oh, we're in Doc Ondar's. You know what that means. What time is it, Peter? Black Kyber Crystal Challenge. As you know, I've been trying to get this Black Kyber Crystal. It, it's rare, it's found in the red Kyber Crystal capsules, but there's it's like one in 50, one in 100 or something. I've already bought like 10 of them so far. But we're gonna try our luck yet again today. Oh, fingers crossed. Are we gonna get some crystals? Yeah. I'm one. trying my luck at the black fiber crystal. I'm gonna say. Hopefully. We'll cross our fingers. Fingers. Cross our fingers. How about that? fingers. I bought 10 so far, so. Let's take it to start making jewelry. Oh my gosh, I like that idea. Yeah. Right? You got a white crystal. Yeah. That's beautiful. You just start wow. making jewelry. All right. Let's go. Let's go with this one. Okay, here goes. Red. Didn't get it again. <laughs> Next time. I'm used to the, this defeat because, like, you know, it, it just keeps on happening time after time. I'm going to be so surprised when I open it and there's actually a black one in there, though. Like, I'm going to be so shocked. It might not have Blurgs here in Galaxy's Edge, but they do have a drink that's made from Blurg. I don't know, maybe? It's called the Blurg Fire. It can be found over at Oga's Cantina, and it's made out of lemonade, pomegranate juice, and habanero lime. There's no alcohol in this. It first appeared in Thrawn Alliances, and it's been in Star Wars Resistance, but I think it's made out of a Blurg. I'm gonna try it for the first time ever here. Oh, this is really interesting. It has some kind of like rim, fruit punchy, Salty. Uh, I like it. I recommend it. Blurg fire at Oga's Cantina. Do blurgs breathe fire? I wasn't aware of that. That's kind of interesting. I don't know. I'm confused by the name of this, but sure is delicious. If for some reason you guys haven't seen part one already, check it out. We'll put it right, the link to that right above and in the show notes. And if you aren't following us, which you should because we have tons of Galaxy's Edge content. What should they do? Yeah, it's like we practically live here. Give us that thumbs up, subscribe. You guys know what to do. Yeah, and if there's anything we miss, leave it in the comments below. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We'll see, see you, you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.